y'all. That's Jessica Beale, and wow, look at the transformation to play a real-life Texas axe murderer in her new Hulu series, Candy. We were friends. Jessica produces and stars in the series as a 1980s suburban housewife who brutally killed her neighbor Betty Gore, played by Yellow Jackets actress Melanie Linsky. I had no angry feelings towards her. If that's what the question is. Jessica, it took me a second, but I realized who Candy with the glasses and the hair, who she reminds me of. Um, my mother in the 80s. Yeah, you know what? I can't, I can't tell you how many people have told me that she looks like their mother or grandmother. Yes. When Candy has the blowout, I look like my grandmother. <laughs> it's wild. Everyone, everyone recognizes Candy <laughs> in some aspect of their life. How did it feel transforming into, into the whole look? I just find the ability to transform in that way, like really utilizing costumes and the makeup department and hair department to be such a supportive part of the process. It's so fun when you don't recognize yourself. And I really didn't every morning, you know, when the last piece of the puzzle, those glasses went on. I just really felt like I was standing in someone else's shoes and it, it gives me the freedom. It gives us all, well, all uh, actors, you know, the freedom to really be uninhibited. And I feel like I had to really feel that confidence and that security to be uninhibited in a project like this. Candy had been having an affair with Betty's husband. All of it led to deadly consequences, even though Candy claimed the killing was in self-defense. As for Melanie, she's a mother of two. She just had a new baby. She's an interesting person. She's struggling a lot with how she feels about herself, how she believes her husband feels about her. She has a hard time making friends. She's kind of abrasive. Um, but I felt for her very deeply. I understand. I, I'm socially awkward. I understand what it's like to walk up to a group of people and not know what to say. And I, I cared about her a lot. I, I felt for her. How does a woman go from Christian, you know, housewife to axe murderer? Honestly, to this day, I'm not totally sure of the answer to that. But I, I think it starts with, um, you know, many, many years of, of repressing a lot of things ab about your life or regrets that you may have and your inability to communicate and your inability to say what you need and inability to say, this doesn't feel good to me. I, you know, I, I don't want to be this perfect thing. I, I am, I'm scared or I'm lonely, whatever. Right. Yeah. Um, I, I feel the only way I can understand this, something like this is that there was a person locked up inside of that woman who so desperately was yelling for help and just didn't know any way to ask for that. And a sequence of events happened and she was put at a precipice of her life and she made a decision and it changed everything. This case was so notorious and so shocking. Did either of you hear about it before you signed on? Yeah, I had heard about it. I'd read the Texas Monthly article, which is a great, like really good long read with a lot of details. Um, and I thought it was really interesting. The insight into the characters and the humans that I got when I read the script, the sensitivity with which the story was being told was like next level for me. It was beautiful. What do you think about the verdict? Because, and, and actually, where is she now? I mean, I heard that she's like a, she's a therapist somewhere? I believe so. I believe that's the case. Um, I, you know, I wasn't in the jury. I wasn't there. I don't know. I don't know how that verdict, you know, how or what the mindset was uh, at that point in time, in that moment in the world when that was happening. Um, it's fascinating and we'll never know the answer. We'll never know the truth. And I think that's what's so compelling about the way that this story is told is it's it's really one person's story. And we kind of offer it up to the to the viewers to say, well, what do you think? Because mm -hmm. we don't know either. Candy, you can't be perfect all the time. Candy premieres May 9th on Hulu. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.